what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're blasting and going over Italy's burial. This is the forgotten demo. Fucking three tracks of killer Italian death metal. Super, super fucking good. Goat Throne Records. And we have the new demo slash EP from Burial. Presence from the Beyond, also on Goat Throne Records in America. I'm not sure what the European label is that put these bad boys out, but coming off of The Forgotten, I was very much intrigued hearing that Burial had a new demo available. And at first I saw it was available in Italy. I was like, ah oh, man, like I wonder if Goat... You know, Goat Throne's gonna pick it up again. And I got hit up by Aaron, and Aaron was like, Yo, I got you on a goat, I, mean, I got you on a burial demo of the new material. I was like, Oh, dude, thank you. So, thank you, Aaron, for making this video possible. And hails the Goat Throne Records for being an awesome new record label. They've been putting out non stop fucking fire. Mostly from Texas. So having some awesome Italian death metal is fucking sick. First off, I love this artwork. It's absolutely awesome. Got a nice pro tape, hard shell. I love the logo. They, they have a fucking sick logo. I'm trying to see who did the artwork because it's either Manuscript of Death or Festering Phlegm. Cover art by Manuscript of Death. Boom! I don't know if that's the same person, but they kind of have similar styles. Very Manifestor-ish. But Burial are just a two-piece with a guest drummer. Leonardo B on guitars and bass and Enrico F on vocals and lyrics. As you can hear, there's a heavy HM2 pedal influence, but this is especially on Presence from the Beyond. This goes into abhorrence territory at times. Like straight up caught in a fucking vortex and it's awesome. Definitely some sick Italian death metal with, I would say, like an early 90s Finnish, early 90s Swedish death metal vibe to it. But I'm thinking more along the lines of like crematory, sentence, abhorrence, bands like that instead of entombed and whatnot. And it's fucking sick, like, lyrically, blood will rain carrions on the ground, a beyond surreal without beginning or end, just super cool stuff, recorded, mixed, and mastered at Void Studios, and these two tracks are just fucking sick, especially if you listen to it like it's a five track recording. As you have three tracks on The Forgotten. So you can just, you know, throw this bad boy on. And then afterwards, throw on Presents from the Beyond and have yourself, you know, pretty much a little mini LP. And it's fucking sick. Like, this is one of those recordings that it's riddled with atmosphere. Yet, at the same time, there's that familiar kind of heavy modern death metal sound that was definitely laid in stone back in the early 90s, but I feel a lot of modern bands kind of have that, you know, buzzsaw type sound to it, which you can hear, obviously. It's very upfront, but at the same time, it's literally like buried underneath just kind of heavy crushing death 
And that's why I like Burial. Like, they just legit, again, they kind of bury a lot of the competition because it's not what you think it is. Like, yeah, it might sound at times like a typical modern death metal band, but they also go into the bag and pull out some shit that's completely like, whoa, like where the fuck did that come from? Especially on the new recording. Like, Presence from the Beyond is just fucking awesome. I wish it was more than two songs, but... Like I was saying, it's nice to be able to throw on the Forgotten and then throw on Presence from the Beyond. It's just convenient and it's fucking sick. Italian death metal in the underground right now is really, really fucking killing it. And I feel like bands such as Burial are really leading the underground and whatnot. And it's fucking sick. Like, nothing but respect. And nothing but respect to Goat Throne Records. I mean, putting out an import like this on an American label and making it so we're not paying $25 for a cassette is fucking awesome. And anybody that's interested in a band like Burial... You really need to be thanking, you know, a label like Goat Throne. Because seriously, they didn't need to release this. You could have been stuck with just, you know, the European version and... Been out a few bucks, but hey, making this bad boy affordable for us here in America, I think it's fucking awesome. I love the cover art, everything about it, the color scheme, it's just sick looking, like, again, I'm kind of colorblind, so to me this looks purplish pink, I'm not really sure what color that really is, but it kind of goes along with the color scheme for the Forgotten, which I'm pretty sure is pink, or that might be purple. But I just think it looks fucking cool as shit. Like, they're kind of brother and sister. And this was also recorded and mastered at Void Studio. I'm trying to see if it says who did the artwork. But this has drum programming, and this has a real drummer. I didn't know that. This also has a guest bass spot by Andrea F where Leonardo handled guitars and bass duties here while he recorded this. Let's see if he recorded this. It actually does not say, but a vile creature from cosmic depths. The screams of dread will burst in the dark, so terrifying no eyes can see. He who is hunting malignant being. Got some nice Lovecraft in there. It's unspeakably heavy. But seriously, Burial bring forth the Italian death metal goods here on Presence from the Beyond. A badass two-track slab of Italian death metal. Super sick stuff. It's very enjoyable. I, I dig it. Especially the more abhorrent, like, parts. Like, where it, when it gets doomy and gloomy, I love it. But and when it's fucking upbeat, it's sick as well. But my favorite track on here is In the Dark. I mean, there's only two tracks, but that's my favorite. In the Dark. It's also probably my favorite track from Burial. And if you can get a copy of The Forgotten, I highly recommend, if you like what you hear, grabbing both of these bad boys. Because like I said, you can put them both together and have yourself a mini, you know, LP. Like, I highly suggest, you know, making a mixtape with both tapes on it, and then there you go. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Like... Fucking A.
or you know just grab both copies from Goat Throne Records. I'm not sure if The Forgotten is sold out and I'm not sure if Presence from the Beyond is sold out but I will put Bandcamp links below. If you're a fan of modern death metal you can't go wrong with Burial. Hailing from Italy, they really, really bring their A-game here on Presence from the Beyond. Super, super fucking good. I really love when they get all finishy on us. But at the end of the day, Italian death metal is alive and well. And we were blasting Burial the Forgotten on Goat Throne Records. Killer, killer shit. Same band. Italian fucking death metal. Killer stuff. And yeah. Burial. Presence from the Beyond. Awesome demo. Highly recommend checking it out. Especially if you haven't heard The Forgotten. These two tracks, I feel, are a lot better than these three. And these three are good, it's just they're a lot, like, it's real heavy on the HM2, just on the Forgotten. Listening to it now, I'm like, oh yeah, that was the one thing I was like, ah, like, it's sick, but I really, really love this bad boy right here. Presence from the Beyond, fucking A. Hails the Goat Throne Records and Aaron at Goat Throne. You're the fucking man. Keeping underground music in our hands. Especially something kind of as obscure as Burial from the depths of Italy. I think it's awesome that these are even in my hands right now. So, fucking hails the Goat Throne and Aaron. And hails to you maniacs at home for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Hey, <laughs> <laughs>